Hello, my viewers at home, and yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel, Daily Express. Please do well to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Also, former governor of Anabra State and Labour Party pressure candidate Peter Obi has reacted after the Federal High Court in Abuja declared Julius Abure as the national chairman of the Labour Party. According to Punch, the Federal High Court in Abuja on Tuesday affirmed Julius Aburi's position as the national chairman of the Labour Party. However, Obi reacted to the recent development in a post shared on his ex page. On Wednesday, he stated that he, Governor Alex Oti, and the critical chairman and secretary of the Labour Party convened to discuss and review recent developments, including the judgment delivered by an Abuja High Court will be urged all members of the Labour Party to remain calm and patient as they continue to engage in discussions and consultations. Yesterday, Governor Alex Oti and I, along with the Ketiko Chairman and Secretary of the Labour Party, convened to discuss and review recent developments, including the judgment delivered by an Abuja High Court on the same day. I urge all members of the Labour Party to remain calm and patient as, the, as we continue to engage in discussions and consultations. Our goal is to emerge stronger and more unified, standing together as one united front. We must not allow this to divert us from addressing the pressing issues affecting our people today. My viewers, I don't thank so much for listening and ensure you subscribe to our channel. Okay. In the words of uh, Peter B, yesterday, Governor Alex Oti and I, along with the Ketiko Chairman and Secretary of the Labour Party, convened to discuss and review recent developments, including the judgment delivered by an Abuja High Court on the same day. I urge all members of the Labour Party to remain calm and patient as we continue to engage in discussions and consultations. Our goal is to emerge stronger and more unified, standing together as one united front. We must not allow this to divert us from addressing the pressing issues affecting our people today. We have always known that the task of creating a new Nigeria that is possible will not come without challenges. Uh, Peter Obi speaks. All right, uh, what's your reaction to this? As uh, Peter Obi reacts after the Federal High Court declared Julius Aburi as the Labour Party chairman. All right, let's look at the comment section to see what we have in the comment section. Stay tuned, please. At the bio for Lauren Shaw here says, uh, The Julius Aburi just want to destroy the Labour Party. The normal thing for him is to live with honor. After his tenure expired. With Abure as chairman, the Labour Party looks like a local party without spread all over the country. Cause chairman and presidential candidate cannot come from the same zone. It is not done politically. The chairman should come from the north and the presidential candidate from the south to balance the equation. For the Labour Party to be accepted nationally, Aburi should step down for Northern candidate. If he refuses, Peter B should think outside the box, and with his followers, the obedient will follow suit. Okay, another comment here. Uh, okay, a uh, Gozier reacted to uh, Adebayo uh, saying thumbs up. Then Cola Cola also reacted saying, uh, but during the Last election, all of you support same Aburi and will be from same zone. Is it now that you are just realizing this? Michael Sani says that Obi should be very careful with Aburi. Aburi is Tinibu's puppet disguising as a member of Labour Party. Then uh, Iwu Lambert says that uh, why must Aburi hang on to power at all 
more at all costs, even if after his tenure had elapsed, he is even having fraud charges against him, which is which he is yet to clear. Say he's even having fraud charges against him, which he is yet to clear. Okay. Then uh, Mary uh, replied to Iwu saying, uh, you not believe he has fraud case, but you were defending him when Apata camp was saying the same thing. Stephen here says, uh, Obi who can't handle a simple party leadership problem is talking about creating a new Nigeria. Then uh, the truth here says, uh, judiciary in a total judiciary in a total mess this is what Ariola costs main main says that the truth is is not far fetched the moment Igbo's flooded into Labour Party I knew that party is dead no party Igbo belong don't come with crisis Afulabi says uh, the only thing I know is certain is that Obi will never be president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Idowuye says uh, I said it before that guarding of vultures and henas is for destruction of Labour Party. I ask again how is market. I said it that they will try to hijack the party by turning it into Igbo's party. What's happening now is that majority of Igbo's sees Labour Party as their party that should be led by Obi. That's why they held the meeting in East to create Ketika's committed. I'm not surprised, but um, I but I hope Abuse and others have learned from his have learned from this eye opener experience nonsense okay abdullah says uh, francis nokoro did i hear you say igbos from the pdp who were those igbos named them did you know the late chief bola Ige and some progressive elements in the north write the PDP constitution, Bola Ige left the PDP to form Alliance for Democracy, DAD. The problem with the Igbos is that they can't stand on their own except they learn on others. Parasitic mode of life and living. The only party formed like the Yorubas formed the Alliance for Democracy is the Abga. Unfortunately, it was not allowed to flourish by element like Peter Obi, who are desirous of power. Obi got Abga fragmented by dumping for the by dumping it for the PDP because he wanted a second term and he wagged to those Abga members who refused to follow him to join the PDP. Whereas the Yorubas stayed in the Alliance for Democracy, which later changed to Action Congress, and ACN, which later became APC, having formed an alliance with the Buari APC, with the Buari CPC. Okay, thanks so much for listening. This is all we have to take for now. Bye for now, please. Thanks so much for listening. Bye for now, okay?